Hi YouTube, it's Amy. Hope everyone's having a wonderful evening. Um, it's nighttime where I'm at and all the kiddos are in bed and I'm just awake. But I wanted to come to you tonight with what's in my daughter's Easter basket 2019. She is 16 months old, um, about to be 17 months old on the 29th. Um, I will tell you, it looks like a lot. Um, a lot of this stuff was things I've been holding since Christmas, um, after Valentine's sale. So I will try to remember where I got this stuff and how much. Um, and with that said, let's just get to it. The one thing I do want to show you guys first, um, I don't want to give her name, but we did get her a personalized Easter basket. And this will be the basket that um, she'll use every year. And we wanted to do one with um, the liner in case it gets dirty or anything like that. We did buy her another basket for egg hunts and stuff. So if that one gets a little messed up, um, can be a little more disposable. We bought it at Target. I think it was like a $5 basket. Um, it's still really cute, but... Um, just in case, you know, we really didn't want this one messed up. And we actually got this from, um, an online website called Personal Creations. And I think they had a promotion going on, like 20% off your purchase. So I think the total for the basket was around $23 with the personalization. And we do reuse our baskets every year. So she does have her own basket, um, from here on out. So, because our big gift is kind of sitting right here, I'm going to go ahead and show you. But, we did get her the unicorn swimsuit. You know, every year, my kids get swimsuits in their Easter basket. And, I bought this when Target was having the buy one, get one half off. So, she actually got two bathing suits. But, this one we saved for the Easter basket. And, the other one she already got because um, we went on... A little mini vacation a few weeks ago and we swam so with that said her beach towel this summer is a unicorn and this came off Amazon and this was around $11.99 $12.99 somewhere in that ballpark and this is by Hudson baby and it's a hooded towel so unicorn it is this year and also to go with that theme she did get water shoes because like I mentioned in another video we do go to a theme park a lot during the summer and we do swim and these have unicorns and they have the little rubber soles and these were purchased off Amazon as well um, they were around eight dollars and um, I don't want to butcher it but this is the tag that's on it so I thought these were super super cute um, so that goes in her Easter basket and I ended up getting her um, these slides they're mermaid but um, she wanted them in Walmart and I was like well this would be a really cute addition to your basket and I already ripped the tag off and I can't remember the price but they do still have them and they have them in um, bigger girl size but I thought these would be cute just you know walking around at the pool and stuff so, she got these. Um, Missy likes to walk around with bubbles and spill them. So, I thought this would be the perfect idea for her Easter basket. And look, it has a handle. And it has the wands where she can pull out. And it's um, spill proof. And it did come with a little thing of bubbles. So, I thought this would be perfect. And this came out of the Walmart um, Easter spot. And it was no more than $4. But they had all kinds of colors and stuff. But if you have an independent toddler and she wants, and they want to blow bubbles, perfect. And that way, if it does tip over or fall over, it, it's safe. So, I'm really excited for that. She's going to love it. Um, this was something I got um, after Valentine's. 
This was at Target, and it is by the Manhattan Toy Company, which is one of my very favorite brands of toys. Um, we actually have collected plenty of stuffed animals, and we baby Stella dolls from them. But I found this little darling um, at our Target after Valentine's when it was 90% off. I want to say I paid a dollar something for her. So I snatched her right up and um, yeah, she came home with me and I thought she was going to be perfect for um, my baby's Easter basket. I was trying to see if the regular price was on there. So yeah, how sweet is she? So that's one of the things I did get. Um, Fairly, fairly inexpensive. Another thing, too, that I got after Valentine's. Um, like I said, it's going to look like a lot, but a lot of this was on sale. These came from um, Walmart, and they were 50% off. So, I want to say around $3, but it is three of the mini board books. And I was like, the colors of them look so springy. So I went ahead and picked this up for her. And actually, they might have been even cheaper. So not 100% sure, but I'm telling you people, go after holiday sales and just pick it up. I know I am definitely one of those people. I do not like storing things. But when you are kind of living on a budget, it, it pays off. Um... I mean, you can find some really quality stuff that's left over. And sometimes my favorite time is after the holidays, so I can go see what's left. Um, again, this was a Target find after Valentine's, but it was when everything was 50% off. So I think everything had just been marked 50 or 70. Um, and Snow White happens to be our favorite princess. She was actually Snow White last year for Halloween. Um, because she does have the dark hair and the fair skin. So I always say she's my little Snow White. And so this was a buck something. Um, and again, I picked it up and put it up. Every year my kids get a Pez for Valentine's, so I knew I needed one. So again, another sale item. I'm trying to see, I'm trying to find if I can, oh. Um, again, a sale item. Walmart. Um, if you guys are familiar with the Baby Ganix, super, super expensive. This is the mineral-based sunscreen. It has an SPF of 50, $2.50. These things, well around $10. So, I went ahead and picked one of these up for her basket to go with, you know, the swimsuit and the sandals. So, like a whole summery vibe. But again, clearance item. Uh, bubbles, of course. What's the Easter basket without bubbles? I have bought a three pack of these and my son got one and she got one. And I think I just put the other under the kitchen sink because we go through bubbles so much that, um, we'll just ended up maybe pouring it in that little bucket she got or something like that. Uh, another clearance item was I found this little, um, spark triangle rattle and this was... Um, after Christmas and I paid 50 cent for it. and so I actually was gonna give this to her for Valentine's and her Valentine goodie bag but I forgot so I'm just gonna throw it in her Easter basket 50 cent and she right now is really obsessed with balls and car wheels so anything that rolls so I think she's gonna have a fun time shaking this so again 50 cent uh, this was something I did pay full price for um, this was at Walmart and it was $7.88, but it does come with two bows, a bracelet and a necklace. Right now she's really into bracelets. We bought her some bangles from like Dollar Tree for a buck and she will put them on her arms and she is ready to go. So I thought this was super, super sweet and, um, it has the pineapple at the bottom. So this will be really fun to wear in the summer. And it has little pickies. So this was a full price item. 
I don't really like to buy full price items if I can help it, but I had never seen those before. And I figured if they did go on sale, it would be a while. And they had, they didn't have many colors and I really liked that color. Um, another sale item was we picked her up some training underwear. Yay! These were $2.50 at my Walmart. And they're Elmo. And right now, baby girl is loving her some Elmo. She's going to be 17 months. So, Easter will be going on 18 months. So, I think um, around um, going into May, we are going to start introducing her to the potty. Um, she does kind of show an interest. She's actually able to tell us when her diaper's wet right now. Um, not verbally, but... Um, you know, just by gestures. So we are excited to start that journey. And I wish they had had more in her size because I would have went ahead at $2.50 a pack, um, scooped them up. Because as all of us parents know, these things are not cheap and you're gonna go through them. So got those, I'm bittersweet because I'm like, oh, my baby's growing up. Um, And I did get her these. Again, my kids always get toothbrushes. And these are Peppa. And these came from the Dollar Tree. What a good find. I snatched these up and I put them away. And then to go with them, we got her the Peppa toothpaste. And that came from Target. Um, I will say, um, I really didn't read the package when I bought it because I was so excited it was Peppa to match the toothbrushes. It does say children two years and up. So I think we're going to go ahead and put this away. Um, I have a tub where I put all her extra stuff um, because it doesn't really go bad. Um, she'll be two in October. So I think we're going to put this away and keep using our... Um, we use like the Tom's brand of toddler toothpaste because I think the problem is if they swallow too much of it, it can probably give belly aches or get them sick or something. So um, it is in our basket, but we're going to have to put it away. But she'll get the toothbrushes and she loves brushing her teeth. Uh, let's see. Again, with Easter, we do celebrate the resurrection of Jesus. And I actually found this super cute um, Jesus Lives pop-up book. And she's going to love this. It has little pop-up pictures that goes along with the story. So we can read that Easter morning. Um, and she'll probably have me read it over and over again, which is fine. And this came from Walmart. And can't remember the price and I don't want to tell you guys something that I don't remember but um I want to say 288 three dollars something like that um but they had all kinds of versions and they even had the ones with the bunnies and the chicks and things so we did find that um also we picked her up this book and this came from Walmart as well um, and it tells you the story of Easter and I love it because it tells you with one word. So this is definitely age appropriate for her and she loves looking at books and, um, she actually has a bookshelf in her room and she sits there and pulls them all out. So we did get her that as well. That one was a little more pricier. I want to say that was $6.99. Um, and again, back to Peppa. We didn't go too crazy on candy, but she did get a Peppa Marshmallow Pop. And I am kind of very weird with her sugar intake. Um, just because she does take medicine for different... Um, she has some medical issues. But um, we usually give her a little tiny piece um, a night after dinner, just a dessert. Like she has a chocolate Peppa egg she's had for two weeks and we're still working on it. So it's just a little treat. Like this candy that she gets is going to last her a while. So she did get the Peppa pop and she did get this Peppa egg and it has like Smarties in it. 
So again, it'll be definitely an after dinner treat. Um, a couple pieces here and there. So when we buy candy for her or a treat, it lasts a long time. And my son got a big egg too. So again, we like to keep it even and fair. And then this is the last piece of candy she got. And we just got her the little white hollow bunny. Um, because again, you know, what's Easter without a little chocolate bunny? So, um, we thought this would be fun to kind of let her splurge with on, um, Easter Sunday. Um, so this will probably be the gist of the candy she'll get that day. And we put the rest, we have a bucket in our cabinet that we'll put the rest in. And that stuff, you know, I can't imagine how long it lasts in the store. Uh, another thing we found was this carrot, and this was in the Target dollar spot when they brought out all their springs things. We thought this would be cute just put in there with the bunny so we can show her how the bunny eats it. And that was a dollar. And again, she got a bubble wand just like my son. Hers is pink. And these are 98 cent at Walmart, and they have a slew of colors. They're actually super cute when they're all together. I love them. And then we found a pack of two of these at Target in their Easter section. She already got one because we went on vacation. So we gave her the duck to swim with at the pool. So we put the bunny in her basket. And um, she got a pack of these. And we gave her the other ones to take to the pool, but we just left the lamb out to go in her basket so she'd have a bunny and a lamb. So that's in our basket. <laughs> She'll enjoy that. Um, and then we got these little candy hearts. They have the princesses. And it just has a few little pieces of candy in it. But we put these in our basket and <laughs> some for her to hunt these were actually found after valentine's at target for 90 percent off and it came with 24 and we paid like a dollar so and i thought these would be so cute for her to play with um in the water this summer at the pool we'll bring some you know, she loves holding things like this in her hand. But how cute are these? So she's got Ariel, Cinderella, um, another Ariel. So I'm just going to put those kind of at the bottom. And then she also got a pack of these little Peppa eggs. It was a four pack. So those are going in her basket as well. And then I had these carrots from last year. So she's getting carrots and these are awesome because they're full of Peppa mini lights. And I found these mini lights after Christmas at Tar I'm at Walmart for 50 cent a pack. So I swiped them up when I saw them. Um, and it was after Christmas because they would have probably won their stocking. But how cute are these and these eggs? So she's really, really going to like these. She actually has a bunch of Peppa figurines that she plays with in her little princess castle. It's the cutest thing. Um, also, she, she's really into art. So we did find this Peppa egg that's full of stickers. And she loves putting stickers on a piece of construction paper. She has the best time. So she's going to love that these are Peppa. Like, she's going to be so excited. You have no idea. And those were a dollar ninety seven at Walmart. I got those early on when they started putting Easter stuff out. I haven't even seen them lately um, at my Walmart. Um, also in one of the carrots, we found these bunny crowns. How cute are these? And the pack of bunny crowns were ninety eight cent at Walmart. So we filled a little egg up for her, so she can color. She loves her crowns and her art. And then we um, get bunny ears every, well, we have bunny ears that we reuse every year and she didn't have any yet. So this is her pair she'll use for the next few years. And how sweet are these? Um, these were at Target in the Easter section and they were $2.00. I thought these were just so sweet because our family tradition is um, even my husband and I get a basket with ears. I mean, we don't get 
but a few things and you know just something to say the Easter Bunny brought us something um but all of us put our ears on and we take pictures and that's something you know we like to enjoy and then let me see I did put one of these we bought these and it came in a pack of three um and inside of it are these big bunny zoom zooms and they I found these zoom zoom bunnies like a while ago like before Christmas and it was an Easter set from last Easter and Target had it on clearance for two dollars and it came with eight so um, some of them be are being hidden in her egg hunt and then this one ended up in her basket so I thought that would be fun and then I'm sorry she does have another candy item and because it's Peppa Pig, but it's the Brock's Jelly Beans. And this will probably be eaten by my husband. So, we just put it in her basket. Um, we'll probably give her a couple. But, um, again, don't like her having a lot of candy. And it has Peppa Pig. Um, so, I just love that Walmart had a line of Peppa Pig um, Easter stuff. So cute. And one of the... Yeah, I think the last thing... We got her was this super sweet unicorn with the cross and we got um, him at Walmart and he was 288 how precious is he so I'm gonna put that in the front of her basket so that is baby girls Easter basket haul 2019 and um, I hope everyone enjoyed this video. Sorry about the lighting, guys. I am so sorry. Um, it is terrible in here when it's late at night. But with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give my video a thumbs up. And please subscribe if you haven't yet. And I want to um, wish everybody a happy, healthy evening. Bye.